Well, this is it. The final official Splatfest of Splatoon 2, which means one final time to attain sea snails in bulk. So, to maximize your sea snail input, which team should you pick? If you remember, back in February, I talked about all the Splatfests up until that point, seeing if the popular team was more likely to lose or win. With one final Splatfest at our doorstep, let's compile all that data and use math to determine our team. Don't worry, just just like last time, for sitting through all the fun math stuff, there's a special surprise waiting at the end. Let's get to the data. One of the first places to look is the overall win percentage of the popular team. There have been 54 unique Splatfests in these past two years, and the popular team has won a total of 24 of them, for a 44.4% win rate. Not bad. Now, this is due to the newer method of calculating Splatfests with the clout obtained, and if we only look at the Splatfest with this newer method, 17 in total, we get 10 wins, or a 58.8% win rate. So a nice, solid chance of the popular team winning this final Splatfest going by that data, so we'll mark a point there. Next, I want to take a look at something we all thought the final Splatfest would be, Pearl vs. Marina. Sure, each Splatfest has been different, but it's always been Pearl vs. Marina, and there are those who only pick their favorite of the two. So, out of the 54 Splatfests, Pearl has won 28, while Marina has won 26, about a 52-48% to win rate, which is basically even. So just by that, we can't decide which team we want to be on. Going back to our first data points, let's see which off-the-hook member wins the popular vote most of the time. And yep, Pearl called it out. Marina is by far the more popular member, with winning the popular vote 32 out of 54 Splatfests, or 59.3%. So we can guess that Marina will win the popular vote in this one. Another point, please. But what are the chances of Marina winning both the popular vote and winning the overall Splatfest? Out of the 54 Splatfests, only 24 have resulted in either Pearl or Marina winning both the popular vote and the Splatfest. Of the 24, Marina has won 14 to Pearl's 10, or a 25.9% chance compared against all Splatfests. So, there we have it. If Marina wins the popular vote, which is more likely, there is close to a 1 in 4 chance she'll win the Splatfest. Case close, bring on the bad <laughs> wait. It would be. But we ignored one of the biggest factors in determining who wins the Splatfest. What region the Splatfest takes place in. So far, we have only been looking at the data collectively, taking each Splatfest and adding them up. But when we look closer at which region the Splatfest took place in, Oceania, Americas, Europe, Japan, Oceania, Americas, and Europe, and the global, different patterns start to emerge. We know that this is the last and final Splatfest, it's a global one, where there is one singular outcome. So let's see how all the previous global Splatfests have fared. <laughs> yeah, this, this doesn't bode well for our take of Marina winning with a popular vote. Seven global Splatfests, and the popular team has lost all but one, which will be fair. That one win was to Marina, so hmm. Looking at it slightly differently, Marina has won five of the seven global Splatfests, a 71.4% win rate, which is insane. In terms of who wins the popular vote, it's basically even with Pearl with a slight edge of four to three. So with everything in mind, which team should you pick? Going with the results from all the Splatfests, Marina is more likely to win if she has the pop of the vote, but it's still a very close match if she doesn't. Looking at just the global Splatfest, Marina is more likely to win, but not if she has the pop of the vote. If she ends up with the popular vote, however, Marina is the only one who has won both popularity and overall in these global Splatfests. So, really it boils down to, if Marina is the popular vote, you should probably pick her. If she doesn't have the popular vote, it's a global Splatfest, it's still likely that she'll win. But, I'll leave it up to you. Which team should you pick? Pearl and Chaos? Marina and Order? Your choice will impact us all for years to come. Choose wisely, cephalopods. <laughs> you didn't think I actually forgot about giving you a gift for sitting through all the math and graphs and stuff, did you? Here you go! Look at the little one! So yeah, who do you think will win the Splatfest? I'd love to see your ideas down in the comments below. And until then, see ya squids.